So if you hear anything, it's raining right now and it's coming down hard. But the funny thing is that I can still see the sun. So it's raining while it's still sunny and it's just, it's, it's just weird. <laughs> Shall we begin? Let's begin. Hey, what's up internet? My name is Nikki and today I'll be doing my June Fatal Attractions. For those of you who do not know what my Fatal Attractions are, it just mainly things that I've been obsessing with in the month of June or they're just things that I really like, aka my favorites. So let's get into this. Starting off with movies. It is summer. I have been really into watching movies and one of my favorite movies this month is Logan. This is like the last installment for Wolverine and I really enjoyed it. I don't know what it was but I really liked how this was directed, how it was written out. It was just it was good. It was really, really good. The next movie I ended up watching this summer is, of course, Wonder Woman. I was really hesitant of going to see this movie mainly because it's DC and recently DC movies have not been doing so good. I love Batman for, for the love of me. Reap Adam West, seriously, uh, he was the main reason why I fell in love with Batman. Batman will always be my Batman. Anyhow, Ever since like the Dark Knight trilogies, it hasn't been doing so good and I haven't really wanted to watch any DC movies, but I gave Wonder Woman a try and I liked it. I was surprised that I really enjoyed it. I was not expecting that because once again, it is a DC movie. And now I kind of want to watch Superman vs. Batman just to see her in it. But who knows? If you've seen that movie, do you think it's worth watching just to see Wonder Woman in it? Just, just throwing that out there. The next movie I ended up seeing this month is Beauty and the Beast, the live action one with Emma Watson. I was really excited. I forgot how much I love Belle, just in general, because I guess any booktuber can relate to her just because of her love for books and her knowledge and stuff like that. I, I loved it. The singing, everything, it just brought back my childhood. I do admit, Belle is sort of like my number three Disney princess of all time. My number one is Snow White, then Ariel, then Belle. The next movie is John Wick Chapter 2. I love the John Wick series so far, especially, come on, it has Keanu Reeves in it. It's about assassins, and it's just, it's just, it's just really good. Just the way it is written, how it's directed, everything, it's, it's really, really pretty. If you haven't seen it, I suggest it highly, especially for the summertime when it's all action blockbuster movies recommend highly. The next movie I ended up seeing is Imagine Me and You. This movie was made in 2005 and it looks like it was made in 2005 just because of the fashion sense, their cell phones and all that stuff. And it has Cersei, I don't remember the actor's name who plays Cersei from the Game of Thrones. That actor is in this movie and I love this movie just because it's a love story. It's sort of a rom-com but not a typical rom-com because it's about lesbians but not really lesbians because one of them is bi but doesn't know she's bi it's just it's just an interesting story so if you I suggest go see it if you're into rom-coms and something really innocent so the next movie that I actually got into actually this week is a Netflix original movie and that is Okja this story follows a 14 year old girl and her super pig that is meant to be slaughtered and eaten and sold to the world but she doesn't want to sell her pig she wants to buy her pig because she's grown up with it it's the family she's always known and it's a pet it's someone you love and something like that and it just it's sort of kind of like a environmental movie that's kind of how i saw it i'm not quite sure if it's like a spoof of environmental movies because i do admit it did hurt me just because this is one of those movies that made me think that I might want to go vegetarian or vegan just because revolve around slaughtered animals. Be warned because there's a great depth and detailed of stuff like that. So now moving on to anime. I ended up re-watching the first season of Tokyo Ghoul and I forgot how much I enjoyed the story. It, I, I like Tokyo Ghoul a lot considering it's about cannibals but it's 
I just love it. The next anime I got into is Haikyuu. Uh, it's a volleyball anime. I finished all three seasons of it. I kind of want more because I want more of my redheaded jumping bean. He, he, he's adorable. I was kind of surprised because there has a lot of slow parts in it, but I did like it just because of it. The interaction between Hinta and his teammates in it's just, it's a feel-good sports anime, and I really, really enjoyed it. Next, moving on to music, starting off with All Time Low's new album, Last Young Renegade. I've been really into Life of the Party. I've been really into it. I like the music video. I've been re-watching it over and over, and I just, I just love it. I really do. I'm a big time All Time Low fan. I like their music in general, so I might be a little biased on that. Next is Halsey's new album, Hopeless. Valentine Kingdom. For the last couple of videos, anytime I talk about this album, I keep saying foundation and I don't know why because in my head I know it's fountain. Fountain. Like, I don't know. But yeah, so I've been really into this new album. My favorite song out of this is 100 Letters and I don't know. I just, I like the beat of it. I, I like jamming out to it in my car and stuff like that. So 100 Letters is my jam out of this whole album. I love it, love it. Now moving on to books. So I really got into Aristotle and Dante Discovered the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Sanez. This book is a love story and it's a coming of age story and it's about culture and just, just, I, I, I endured it. I will talk more about it in my June wrap up but so the next book that I got really into in the month of June is The Song of Hercules by Madeline Miller. And holy crap, I was not expecting to fall in love with this book as much as I did. It's one of those stories, I, I'm pretty sure it's a retelling of Homer's like epic Greek mythology hero stories. I'm not quite sure what it's called, but I haven't really read anything by Homer since I was in high school but anyways it is a greek mythology kind of love coming of age story and it puts a twist on uh how we see hercules because it's told by procolis procolis pro the other main dude who's always with Hercules in all these stories i can't pronounce the name i'll probably put it here because I suck with names. I really do suck with names, but it's from his point of view and his life and how he fell in love with Hercules and how they became a thing and just, it's just, it was just a really good story. I was not expecting to like it as much as I did just because I wasn't expecting it to be this coming of age love story and it has action greek mythology what else do you need in a story so yes so that is it for my june fatal attractions if you guys seen or are gonna see or read or whatever any of these things tell me i would like to know so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more please subscribe if not that's cool i usually try to upload monday wednesdays or fridays so yeah i catch you later